All right, so I spotted this on Amazon and decided to pull the trigger and get one for just 20 bucks, and it has a 5% off coupon, so less than 20 bucks. And I just got done installing it, and we'll go out there and take a quick look, but I wanted to show you on Amazon, and I'll leave a link in the description below to my Chris DIY or Amazon store so you can get one too. But this is a 32 amp, 500 volt DC miniature circuit breaker. And again, we'll go outside and take a look. And it's got really thick 12 gauge wires with MC4 connectors on both sides. And it came in this box right here. And it has a whole bunch of extra doodads and knickknacks and paddy wax that came with it. MC4 connectors and some wall mount stuff. I mean, I didn't need to use it. And it came with also this right here. What I really like about this, if you look, if you notice the wiring, it's got a uh, double pole for the black and the red. And that's the way it's wired. So you got black on one side and you got red on the other side. And I'm not sure if it's totally 32 amps, but, and it's really overkill for what I need. But let's go outside and take a quick look at my install while I got sun and show you how I mounted it up. A little chilly out, but it's not raining. So that makes a huge difference. So what I've got hooked up to this gizmo DC distribution battery charger all that stuff that I've made it's also has a fan on here is I've got 400 watts over here buried and comes up here to MC4 connectors and then I wired it into this new circuit breaker and you have to take the cover plate off and I had to drill two extra little holes in the plastic to, in, in, to mount it to the 4x4 post here, but, and that's all it was. These, are, these come right out here, and then just stick it back on, and I wired it up. It's got the, the protection in here, a little rubber seal in there. Wired it up into there, and then just wired it up into the meter here with, uh, you know, connectors. Really pretty freaking easy to do. No big deal. And right now I'm getting you know the battery's charged so I'm only getting a few watts in but here let's let's turn it off and I'll show you kills it turn it back on it pops it back on see there that is so cool a little bit of safety on this thing right here um, you know it's waterproof and all that stuff I tightened this up I tightened up the screws on the circuit breakers when I got them um, you know where the wires go into the bottom and go into the top there I tighten those up a little bit but yeah this is for 20 bucks I mean a little bit of added protection tighten that up a little bit more right there and then for the MC4s in case I want to swap out or whatever I'm gonna leave these but dangle dangle right here and I secured the cable right there so it's not gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere it's fine for the battery it's a 12 volt system got the uh, Dakota lithium up here this has been working great I don't have a fuse on this but it's it's a smart battery and do you really need a fuse so I, someday I may put a fuse on there but one thing I did add on here this is kind of cool see this right here it's a step up booster to 24 volts and I wired that down here so I can get it I got a 24 volt uh, tap right now DC power input or output so now I got a dedicated 24 volt output <laughs> things I come up with pretty cool huh it's got the fan here heavy duty cooler blaster master you can see how much power you're getting in you can PD and QC 3.0 for charging 12 volt out right here 12 volt out right here regular you know 12 volt power socket type deal 12 volt extra battery right here and I've got a 12 volt going up to the battery up there so really handy when you need 12 volts or charge a DeWalt battery or whatever there you have it thanks for watching see you next time